one of those rules of conversation, um, I think, and I, I'm sure someone has said this well, but this just this idea of trying to actually understand what the other person is arguing. Right. And I've I found when I've just a couple of years ago when I started hanging out with my my new progressive friends, um, as much as I was trying, I had a hard time understanding sometimes sure. what they were trying to say. Mm-hmm. So just just being aware of that, mm. um, you know, particularly you know the words we were just mentioning before, you know, capitalism right. versus socialism, communitarian, republican, conservative, all of these things, mm. Tea Party, libertarian, these they, they'll have um, preconceived meanings that right. um, aren't necessarily going to get you to the mm. truth of what that person's trying to say. Right. And understanding the fact that you can be using the same words, but in effect speaking a different language, a different ideological language, that is key to having a conversation that's productive, is sort of yeah. keying in on the places where that's the case. I have a friend, uh, uh, my friend Peter Bogosian has a book out called How to Have Impossible Conversations. And uh, it's a great sort of guidebook for sort of having a productive and kind of empathetic dialogue, even with people who have radically differing opinions. And one of the basic kind of pieces of advice he offers, him and James Lindsay, his co-author, one of the basic pieces of advice they offer in that book is to look at the person on the other side of the conversation as not being an opponent, but being being a partner with you, being a partner in the in the search for truth. Because, I mean, even if the other individual sees things in a dramatically different way, if you treat the conversation the right way, if you're able to ask the right questions to get that person to kind of shine a light on why they see things the way they do, they're going to add to your ability to understand other people. And they may also show themselves to have a perspective on a certain question that completes some element of your understanding of an issue that maybe needed to be completed and you didn't realize it going into it. Um, to me, that's politics. I mean, that's that, you know, granted, I mean, you know, politics is a matter of. Well, it's of an ideal. It's a very idealized. Well, I was going to hope I was going to say for I mean, politics. I was going to say, yes. Um, I mean, obviously, on a, on a more on a more kind of um, on a more kind of uh, essential level. I mean, politics is this rough kind of interaction of self-interest where we deliberate over how to organize our common society based in part upon, you know, just sort of the leverage that competing interests are able to wield against each other in the context of negotiation. But I think that the founders of this country in creating our constitutional system set our system up in a way to where it would establish itself as a check against the worst impulses of human nature while also rewarding those people who would want to engage in dialogue and deliberation in the civic process according to the better angels of our nature. Pardon me for throwing in the reference. That's nice, nice plug there. 